Hello everyone, welcome to IMT Gaming, and welcome back to Spyro the Reignited Trilogy. <laughs> Hi Sparks, I've been missing you too. Last time we completed what we could of Fracture Hills, and now we're moving along further along the worlds left in the Autumn Plains. Here we have the Professor here. Oh Spyro, hello! I'm having trouble with this door, but I think some orb power might unstick it. Ah, I see you've collected a good number of orbs there. Ah, good. That was easy. Orbs are very powerful, Spyro. Collect a few now and you won't regret it later. There are at least two in every world of Avalar. Right. And there those gems. And it looks like we're going to be heading to our first world of this episode here. Where we have Magma Cone. Let's see what awaits us. Wee! <laughs> I've missed doing that. So just to let everybody know, most of these episodes that are coming up are going to be a little out of order, as this is actually the first time I've recorded Spyro in over a couple months, while I've been focusing on other games that I wanted to get completed to make room for some more. Anyway. A volcano. We have some more satyrs here. Well, um, sucks to be that guy. <laughs> that looks like the world entrance there. Hello, Spyro. I suppose you're here for the party. I'm afraid it's been cancelled because the stupid Earth Shaper set off the volcano. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna have to stop some Earth Shapers here. Alright, what do we got? Got some of those little ones, there's some bigger ones. Ah, I see a plan here. Oh, oh you're gonna whack me like that? How dare you? Come here, you. Gotcha. Gotta get as much treasure as we can find in the level, too. Man, I forgot about this music. I, guess I, I forgot how catchy it could be. Looks like we're gonna have some flying to do. And yeah, there's way up into the volcano there. Oh. Gotcha. Let's make sure no treasure gets left behind. Butterflies are in short supply for sparks. Going back up. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Drop me. Thank you, Zoe. Just gotta throw something at me or run away. How dare you? <laughs> My Cyrus says hi. <laughs> We've collected 
quite a bit of treasure, haven't we? Ah! Kind of botched that one up. the ones that are scattered around up top. Gotcha. Ah, it's been a while since I played this game. I love it. Shattered. <laughs> yeah, I know that was a bad one. Going up. Who's here? Oh, got an extra life. Well, if it isn't my best customer, the elevator in the next room can take you to the volcano. You can have unlimited use of the elevator for a one-time fee of only a few gems. A few gems, huh? 200. I guess that isn't that bad. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Simply step onto the elevator and it will take you to the bottom. When you want to come back up, just step on it again. All right. Easy enough. Oh, whoops. What we got down here? I think I'm supposed to talk to somebody down here. I forget who or where. Maybe down the upper levels. Whoa. That's a hazard. Oh, 
I goofed. Okay, so I roasted myself. Whoopsies! Ready, aim, fire! Got it. At least I could try to sit a close the volcano. Okay, so there's a pattern here. Easy. Top and closed up the volcano. Thanks for closing the lid on the volcano, Spyro. Things were getting a little too hot around here. By the way, here's a talisman I was saving for the party later. I think you deserve it more. Well, thank you very much. Not gonna leave just yet, though. We still have some unfinished business. Aha. Spyro, you're just in time for the party. Well, you would be if those nasty lava monsters hadn't stolen our hats. <sighs> it just won't be the same without party hats. I shoot down the lava monsters. Freaky looking things. in my mouth. Oh, whoa, whoa. Gotta get back up to that flight thing. I gotta find a snail fast. Where's the entrance? Ah, there it is. Welcome back, Sparks. that time. Alright, so I've got to get nine more of these guys. Let's see if I can find some rocks without falling into the lava. Thank you. And uh, oop. Snail, please. And 
you too. Halfway there. Let's find the other ones up top. I loop. Take this. that hard to miss such a big target. I heard confetti. Or one of those lower things. There you are. Thanks, Spyro. You saved the party. Here, this got mixed in with the cheese balls, and I almost chipped a tooth on it. Thank you. some treasure. So let's go look for it. Aha. Yep, I missed the stuff inside the volcano. At least the, the, upper, the upper one. And here's a spot in here where it gets a little cooler. Going down. Hi, Hunter. We got all the treasure. Now I just gotta get the orbs and the talismans. Hey, Spyro. Check out this cool cave I found. Let's play a little game. Every so often, a piece of this crystal popcorn pops out of the ground. The first one to grab ten of them wins. Let's play. I'm ready when you are. If you can beat me again, let's play to 15 this time. What do you say? All right. I'm ready when you are. I'll take that. Ah. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. some harder games. For now, I'll take this orb. I guess you earned it. How are you talking about moving your lips, Hunter? <laughs> okay. Orb's complete. And the level's complete. Let's get out of here. On our way out, I happen to spot this little trove where I found three extra lives. So how could I go wrong? All right, now let's get out of here. Looks like everybody's enjoying the party. Whoops. <laughs> you know what you did, buddy. And look who's waiting for us over here. I can let you into the little castle over there in exchange for a few gems. What do you say? 400 gems this time. <sighs> You're breaking me, money bags. No one's been through that portal in years. I never thought I'd find a sucker. I, I mean, <clears throat> you're a shrewd customer, Spyro. Mm hmm. Have fun over there. Say hi to Ripto if you see him. Shady Oasis. I remember that this is actually a world I'm going to have to backtrack to because I think that there are some chests here that require Spyro learning the head bash move, which he doesn't learn until he gets into the Winter Tundra. But, might as well see what awaits us. Bunch of hippos. Uh -oh. Oh. Oh. Whoops. Well, uh, that happened. Spiral, it's a good thing you're here. I've been trying to get a berry out of this magic berry bush, but I'm just not strong enough. If you charge or flame the bush, one of those yummy berries should drop. Alright. There you go. Here are these 40 thieves or whatever. <laughs> I think there's something down here I need to look at too. And judging by all that bubbling, I'm gonna imagine that that water's not really safe.
Love Shield to protect you that time. I guess you'll have to glide across to this berry bush. Right. Here I go again. Up. And... Bang. So these berries actually can make the hippos bulk up once they eat them. I wonder what kind of effect they'd have on our dragon. Not that we can actually find out because Spyro can't eat the berries. looking genius. Although, they're a little more pleasing on the eyes than someone like Jafar, I should say. <laughs> If I ever saw one. Okay, looks like I'm gonna be using this ball. I think I know what I'm gonna be using it for. Let's clear out all that stuff first. Where was I? Oh, yes. Ready. Aim. Fire. <laughs> Looks like we made it to the end of the level. Thanks for helping me reach the great berry bush. Now we can eat berries all the time. Here, take this. It's a gift from all of us hippos. Well, thank you very much. You got the Spyro, three thieves have stolen our magical brass lamp. Dryfoot. Please get the lamps before they take them away from Shady Oasis. Alright. Got some thieves that are planning to steal lamps. Well, not on my watch. There he is. in solid rock. I'm afraid you'll need to learn some kind of head bash move before you can help us. Right, Eric. That's what I need to learn the head bash for to get the last orb in the level. Almost had him. 
Gotcha. Your little rascal. things here. you guys back in a bit. Okay, here's one of the lamp thieves. Come the other way. Come here, you. Come here. Give me that lamp. that time. <laughs> oh, yep, and I guess there is one more chest here that I need to learn head bash for. lamps. Here, take this orb. Some fairy left it with me, but it won't hold a proper shine. Hmm. Well, that's one more lamp. Orb to the collection. I'll just get the, the main treasures that I can while I'm here. Help me in the long run for later. Okay. I'll bring you guys back when I'm at the exit. And just to put any doubts to rest, I did pick up these last two gems that someone may have noticed. And I'm also gonna very quickly grab these two. Okay. <clears throat> Onward. We're heading back. Oops. <laughs> Sneaky. Oh. Well done, Spyro. Now that you have all 14 talismans, your guidebook can break the lock on the door, and you can fight Go. Are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. I'm treating you guys to a, to a boss fight this episode. You'll have to jump down the hole in the floor to get to where Ripto and Gulp are waiting. I can help you out a little bit. I tamed some pterodactyls from Skelos Badlands. They'll be dropping in objects that you can use to fight Go. Thanks, Laura. Wish me luck. Hmm. 
go. We finally made Avalar ours. You've earned a special reward. Oh, man. Galt, what is it, boy? Oh, the fairy. Here you go. Ah! Nice safe spider. Oh. You singed my cape! Dragon, you are really starting to get on my nerves! Say goodbye, flame breath! Galt? <laughs> Lunch time! Ooh. Okay, here's our boss fight with Gulp. Ripto's Triceratops, like Lackey. Although I'm not sure if I'd really compare him to a Triceratops or just a big green scaly bull. I think the closest thing would probably be a Nasutoceratops. Gulp, finish him off and you can have all the berries you can eat. Enjoy this. Whoa. Hey, Gulp. If you want to eat, eat this. Yeah, watch out for the projectiles he shoots out from his back. Fires more shots as the battle goes along. Oh, yeah, I forgot that he can eat the bombs. I went to help him that time, though, did it? Whoa, boy. Four shots. Okay. Oh, boy. Eat the butterfly sparks. about Gulp's fight is that I think the music in the background is actually the same music from Nasty's fight. Or am I just remembering that wrong? Please be a chicken. Please be a chicken. Nope. Alright, three more hits and he's down. Back fast. Please be a chicken. Ah, crap. Please be a chicken. Please be a chicken. Nah. Got lucky 
there. Ooh. I could really use some chickens, boys. Alright, that time it was six. Sparks, come on back to me. Ooh. Oh, shit. As soon as I get back, I lose him. Oh, boy. Dragonflies. Chicken dinner. Yes! We got gulp. And with one health to spare. Whoa! Bye bye, Ripto. All right. Spyro, you did it! Whoa! Well, Laura, where'd you come from? I was just outside the castle in Autumn Plains. The castle is now free again. There's no sign of Ripto. And since you've been around, the creatures of Avalar are finally starting to get along. Since you've done so much for Avalar, and since I know you've really missed being on vacation, we really wanted to do something nice for you. It's not much, but we hope you like it. Oh, wow, this is great. Aren't you gonna join me? Uh, no. I'd like to, but I've got to go check on the professor in the Winter Tundra. He's still trying to fix the super portal so he can send you home. Oh, that sounds interesting. <sighs> I think I'll just hang out here for a while and soak up a few rays. Uh huh? Hey, where did Laura go? I better follow her. Didn't you just say you were going to take a break? Anyway, gulp defeated. I'm surprised I didn't get an achievement for that. Probably expect you to beat him without getting hurt once. Anyway. Got a cutscene here. I think I've finally come up with a way to access the Dragon Worlds from the Super Portal. This power crystal should give us the extra boost that we need. Just a few more calculations to set it up. I think I have it. Excellent. Everything is finally ready. We're going to need a lot more orbs, but with the power crystal boosting it, the Super Portal should work again. Oh! Where'd that bomb come from? So, you Rip thought so. you had gotten rid of me. Well, I'm afraid not. I persuaded that fat bear money bags to sell me a few bombs. Quick, the power crystal! Don't even try it, book boy, or you'll be the world's smartest pile of ashes. This is just what I need for a new scepter. Hunter, do something, quick! Uh, hey, give that back! <laughs> well, I tried. Uh-huh. <laughs> you little fools! After I destroy you all with my new scepter, I'm going to rename this place Riptonia! <laughs> Whoa. Well, looks like the fight's not over yet. We've got a few more worlds ahead of us, and Ripto's still kicking. Spyro, Ripto's still alive, and he's locked us out of the castle. Even worse, he's stolen our new power crystal for the super portal. Spyro, keep collecting those orbs. We can't send you to Dragon Shores until you have enough. Not only will the orbs help power the super portal, but they'll help you break into the castle. Right. Here's the portals around here, too, to take us back to Summer Forest and Autumn Plains. 
All right, what do you got for me this time, money bags? Well, Spyro, it comes down to this. There's only one more thing I can teach you. And like all the best things, it uh, doesn't come cheap. A thousand gems to learn the head bash move. Might as well. The head bash move is very simple, really. All you must do is jump and then press the action button. Like this. Let's take out this rock. All the way open into the castle. But I'm just going to collect a couple more gems real quick. And then I think I'm going to call it an episode here. When we come back, I might be backtracking to a couple of other previous worlds that we visited too. But after that, we'll be focusing all our attention onto the Winter Tundra. So, I, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll be leaving a link in the description below. And as always, I'll be seeing you guys next time. Catch you later.